Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're in Milwaukee at the World of Wheels. Come on out to any World of Wheels show and you'll have a great time. With that, I'm with Abby and I'm with her father, Brent. Brent, what's your last name? Colchin. Colchin, and the Colchins have a great car, of course, which is why we're here talking about it. Brett, which great car in your collection is this one? What year make and model? This is a 1970 Dodge Challenger Trans Am. And Abby, you've called this one something. What is this one called? This one's called the Cherry Bomb. Why the Cherry Bomb? Um, because my dad purchased it from a man named Jim Cherry. The car is red. You put two and two together. Cherry Bomb. The Cherry Bomb. And let's take a look at our Cherry Bomb. And that is a beautiful explosion. So this car, Brent, on your last car, which by the way is right there we just videoed, that one took some time to rebuild. This one was all done and all done to original. So how did this happen that this got in your collection? When did you get this one? Uh, we got it about two years ago out at the Carlisle Nationals. Uh, we ran into Jim and uh, we were admiring his car and uh, he said it was time to let it go and uh we cooked up a deal. Now, I'm just curious, did you have Abby with you when you picked up this car? We did. We so, did. so I'm going to credit you that you. he said, I like her, this car can go to her. Okay, that all makes perfect sense to me. Now, I'm noticing actually that there's, this is reflective. Yes. I didn't notice that at first. And probably the best, one of the best gas caps of all time Pretty close. on this car. Let me take a look inside. Now we'll get the profile of this one. And it actually does have that rake to it where the back end is a little higher. And we'll talk about that in a second. Abby, can we open the trunk for a moment on this time capsule that takes us all the way back to 1970? So let me just show how clean this trunk is. We'll go over the jack instructions. Now we've got actually I'm gonna do this. I think it's this way. Let's see if I can do that that way. Try to do that as best as I can without making everybody super dizzy. And this is all the factory equipment. Correct. Maybe share with me what we have here. So that is the original bill of sale that the car came with. Um, it's really funny because the man who originally purchased it, his last name was Colgren. It's a couple letters off from our last name, so it was kind of a sign that we needed this car. <laughs> <laughs> needed this car. Now you consider yourself a car girl. Yep, definitely you, do. What did you call yourself? Bad Mamma Jamma. The Bad Mamma Jamma, the Bad Mopar Mamma Jamma as well. And you call yourself that because your dad basically had that other car, that one, since you've been born. So yep. you, you said something I thought that was an interesting phrase. You said you were what? Born, raised, and brainwashed. <laughs> <laughs> raised and brainwashed. By the way, well done, Dad. Thank Very you. Well Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we'll shut that. Born, raised, and brainwashed. Okay. Let's, uh, one of the things with this, so these are, these are dog dishes. Did they come with other rims? Yeah, they also came with rallies, with trim rings. But these are the originals. Yes, 450 wheels. Now notice we've got the G60 here. And when we look at the front, by the way, there's the correct exhaust right before the front wheel. The matte stripe. And back to the front wheel, on the right side of the car, we've got the star, our 346 pack, and the TA. And on the front wheels, notice we have the 60E15. So a little smaller, which gives it that rake. Let me step back and just give people the front rake as well. I'll give them that look. 
right there. Now, Abby, you were sharing with me, um, there weren't many of these. Tell me a little bit about what you remember from the build of these. Um, they only built them for a few weeks. Um, they were built for the, the, the Trans Am races. So they did the AA Arcuda 2, which would be the sister car to this car. Um, yeah, they didn't make many of them. Uh, you see them around every once in a while, but um, yeah, they're, they're a rare car. One year only. So, you know what, just for grins, let's put the hood pins in. I just want to show what it looks like with, with all that. So when your dad gives you a ride in this one, what's the reaction? Um, smiles on people's faces, you know, because you don't see muscle cars like this out on the road often. So just to see something like that just brings a smile. To Cell phones faces. coming out, the whole oh, yeah. thing. Oh yeah, whole nine yards. Tell me when you and your mom are driving this car, what's the reaction? Oh, people are shook because, you know, two girls in a muscle car. <laughs> it throws them off. Oh yeah. <laughs> They don't know, though, who you are. Oh, yeah. But this answers that question. That looks great in your rearview mirror. What a wonderful car. What a wonderful car. Let's uh, take a look at the interior, and then we'll come back and open the hood, shall we? May I? Definitely. Okay, I just want to show the sport mirror. From here, and I'm curious, with the side exhaust, is it different than the rear exhaust, like on the Superbird? I mean, can you hear the difference? Oh yeah, I can definitely hear the difference. You know, they really, I mean, this is a pretty intricate piece compared to the Superbird, it's pretty flat. Are these the correct, uh... okay, they look cool though, you're saying no, but they look good. And then here's our bench seat, or excuse me, buckets. Thank you. And there's enough room in there for extra people if need be. We've got the stereo grills, the automatic. That looks great. Our vents and the Challenger on the dash so you know where you're at. I need to show that rough line. All right, let's open up the hood. I think we may have the battery off on this one too on yeah, driving we'll day, but we'll, we'll put that back on so we can start it. Okay. I noticed that and we'll put the battery back together so we can start it. Okay, right now I'm going to do it? Yeah. All right. I'm going to have you hold this for just a second while I get the rest of those tags. I don't run these springs because it warps the hood. That's fine. I'll get these tags while you're... I noticed that when I looked at the... Uh... Just come over here. For your battery. I've got the manifold on this side. Going up. Okay, you want to start it? Sure. You get the keys, yeah.
She's paying the bills. <laughs> Guys, grab each other for a moment. So much fun to have you both out here. Looking forward to seeing you at other car shows. Thanks for having a great car and sharing with us. So enjoyed the Cherry Bomb. Thanks for being on My Car Story. Thanks, Lou.